Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the latest grand video key system from the WOW Group. Now, if you're into karaoke, video key, you will know the WOW Group. They are well known for their karaoke or video key systems, and this is their latest and their best system so far, in my opinion. Now, this is not a budget system. This is for people who want a serious system, and I've borrowed this from the WOW Group for the sake of this review, but I will be giving it back to them after I finish this review. Now, before we take a look at the equipment itself, I just want to show you some of the details on the box. So the first thing you'll notice is it says 5,157 built-in songs. Now, I checked their website, and it now says over 6,000 built-in songs. So I think they've upgraded it since they made this packaging. The next thing you'll notice is voice command, because yes, Instead of having to look through a book or scroll through many menus to find the song you want, you can literally just say the title of the song and it will find it. And then it has some features that honestly I don't know much about, like the Dream Sound module. All HD sound, wide, realistic, detailed. That might mean something to some people, but to me it doesn't really mean too much. Now this one, Advanced MIDI and Chorus, this does mean something. Songs and sounds remastered and re-engineered to be as close to the originals. Now if you go on YouTube and search for something like Justin Bieber, Sorry, Karaoke, and then listen to it, you'll realize that it would actually be a little bit difficult to sing back to it. It would be possible, but the way that they actually get the songs and tweak them makes it so much easier to sing to, so that does make a difference. Auto Multiplex, now again this doesn't mean much to me, but it says songs with full length guide vocals that you can switch on or off. So I guess that's if you're learning a song you can follow along with their vocals. So okay, that's all the sound stuff. Now I know people who are super into karaoke will be like, duh, that's so obvious. Well, for me it's just something I do when and, you know, I'm having some drinks, some food, and I like to sing. I'm not a professional, I don't know too much about karaoke sets, but I can tell you that I've tried a lot when I go out to karaoke places, and if they had this one, I'd be much happier. So you can see it comes with two microphones and they are wireless. That is a big plus because, oh, I can't tell you how many times I've had to sit there like wiggling the cable at the bottom of a microphone trying to get it to work or pulling something off a table because the cord is wrapped around it, wireless is really the way to go. HD video output, it's 720, it comes with a HDMI cable, so that's good. 16 gig of built-in memory, because yes, you can actually record yourself. So not only are you gonna sing along, but you're gonna record it. And it can record up to a thousand minutes or roughly 250 songs, so that's pretty cool. And here's a feature that a lot of people will like. It has a multimedia player. You can either plug in an SD card or a USB drive and then play back movies or sound files, things like that. So that's a big bonus because if you got this hooked up to your TV, it makes sense that you can also watch movies on it and stuff like that. Anyway, enough with the box, enough with the features. Let's actually look at the kit. So it comes with this nice carry case, which is good because it makes it easy to transport. Let's say you want to go to a friend's house and set it up there. So a nice simple carry case. Now, all of this comes in protective packaging, but I've taken that off. So we've got the two wireless microphones and they've got some good weight to them. Um, if I remember correctly, they run on double A batteries. Let's see. Yes, two double A batteries. Now what I would have liked to see is rechargeable batteries so that when you put it in the dock, it automatically recharges. Maybe that's something they can add to a future version. So we've got the two microphones and you can select songs here, you can start them, stop them. You can basically use them as remote controls. Then you've got the HDMI cable to connect it to your TV. If you don't want to use the HDMI because, for example, you have an older style TV, you can use this cable here. Then we have the unit itself and it's actually a lot smaller than I expected. Considering how much this thing does, it's very small and compact, and it doesn't really weigh anything, so I was quite surprised by that. And of course the microphones just slide in here, and that's what I was saying earlier. Imagine if these had rechargeable batteries, and you could just slide it in there and then it recharges. How perfect would that be? And then also in the bag we have this cable for video, so I guess this one would be if you wanted to connect it to like a stereo system, and this one would be if you just wanted to connect the video. Then of course we've got the power brick. Now the nice thing about this is that it's just a standard 12 volt, 1 amp power brick, so very easy to replace if it breaks. Another thing is it can operate from 100 to 240 volts, so you can literally use this anywhere in the world, Philippines, America, England, Europe, pretty much anywhere, provided of course you've got the right adapter to plug it into your wall if it needs one. Then we have the remote control, and it's quite a nice remote actually, two AAA batteries, just like pretty much every remote control out there. Buttons are nice and clear, easy to see. I do like the remote control. 
And last but not least, the songbook. For anyone that enjoys flicking through and, you know, thinking, oh, what should I sing? They can't think of something so they can look through here until they find something that they like. It's nice that they've got this songbook, although it's not really that important anymore since you've got the voice control where you can just say the name of the song that you want to sing. So to get this up and running with that TV behind, all I need to do is connect the power and the HDMI cable, because the HDMI cable will carry the video and audio signals to the TV. Now honestly, if you're buying a set like this, you've probably also got some equally impressive speakers, but I don't have that, so for today we're just going to use the speakers built into the television set. Um, before I do hook it up, let me show you a bit more about this box. So you've got the two wireless microphones that come with it, but then you can also connect another two wired microphones, and you can have up to four microphones connected. You can also connect headphones, if you're practicing you don't want everyone to hear it you've got that option and on the back we've got our video and audio out and one thing I noticed actually is it also has a video in option so that's probably what this second cable is for if you want to feed in video from another source that's interesting um, of course we've got our power input 12 volt DC and our HD output which is just HDMI on this side we have our SD card slot so if you want to put that in there with some movies or something like that and same with this USB stick plug it in there and then you can play back your content. And then of course a slot for our song pack because this comes with say 6,000 built-in songs where you can buy the song pack, slide it in there and that will add new songs. Now of course the other option you've got is to download songs from YouTube or something like that and then just play them back from the USB stick and sing along with them like that. So you don't have to buy the song packs. Although in my experience the songs produced by the WOW group, like the melody or the MIDI or chorus or whatever, it sounds much better and it's a lot easier to sing along to than the ones on YouTube. So some people might still want to buy the proper song packs. Now I'm not sure if this is included with the pack or if this is something they added, but this is a little cover that you can put over the microphone and it's just for hygiene reasons because of course people's lips are getting very close to this, often touching it. So yeah, if you were using this with a lot of people, you might want to buy some extra ones of these just so that people feel more comfortable and can put it around it like that. Is it a big deal? Probably not, but yeah, they, they are a nice little touch. So just like that, with the power cable and the HDMI cable, it's set up and ready to rock. Hello. So let's start by testing one of the main features, the voice search. Sorry. And just like that, it found Sorry by Madonna, Sorry by Justin Bieber. And that is all offline. You don't need an internet connection. Everything is built into the box. Okay, let's try a harder one. Father and son. Okay, so you can see it didn't get it that time. Now apparently it's tuned for the Filipino accent and they trained it with the Filipino accent. So let me try again with a slight twist. Father and son. And there you go, it came up that time. So I think it really is tuned a little bit more to the Filipino tongue. So let's start the song. Now this is the boy's own version. I would rather have the original Cat Stevens version, but whatever. If you want, you can marry. Look at me. I am old, but I'm happy. Okay, don't worry. I'm not going to subject you to too much singing. Practice makes perfect anyway. So now, the nice thing about the remote control is that I can quickly adjust the volume of the music versus the microphone and the echo. So it's got individual buttons for all of the features that you're going to use a lot because in some songs you might want the backing music a little bit higher, in other songs you might want your voice higher. So it's nice that you can do it quickly from the remote control. Now you can actually do it through the microphone as well, but you might have to go through a menu or press a button more than once. For instance, if I press the volume button, I can adjust music and mic. So it can be done, but it doesn't have individual buttons for every feature like the remote control does. Now of course, apart from searching for the song by speaking the title, you do have the regular options where you can search by title, artist, lyric or number. Now the lyrics one is interesting because I tested that out and it, let's say that you can't remember the song name, you can't remember the artist, but you can just remember some of the lyrics. Well you type them in using the controller and it will actually find all the songs that have those lyrics, which is pretty clever. But let's just go for a title search. Um, and you see like if I go through this menu it's quick there's no lag whereas again some of the karaoke places I've been it's really slow going through the pages now of course there's also Tagalog songs so if we go for Aka there you go Tagalog songs so 
when I start this one, instead of starting it the normal way, I'll press the record key, which is here, and that will start the song, but it will record everything that I'm singing. And you should see an icon over here in a few seconds, which says record. So be okay, well, I'm not going to torture you with my singing, but if we now stop the song, you can see recorded song is being saved. And then we can go into our recording list and you can see all the songs that have been recorded. So let's play back that one that I just sang just to test it. Okay, that's enough of that. Now imagine that someone decent sang that and it would probably be quite good. Now there are recordings on here from people who had the unit before me. So let's try one of theirs instead so you can get a better idea of, you know, how good this could be. Now another thing is MTV and these are basically music videos. So when you want to take a break from singing, you can just put on a music video in the background. So let's go for Careless Whisper. So you can sing along with these if you want, test, 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 test. But the idea is really that you just leave these playing in the background while you eat or something like that. And of course we've got the multiplex. So let's go in here and choose a song. Let's go for Again by Janet Jackson. Time and time I said. So there you go, that's with someone singing along with you in the background. Hopefully you can hear me okay over the background noise, but that's what the multiplex is. There's someone singing along with you in the background. And the duet and chorus is somewhat similar to that. Oh, and for anyone who's curious, you can do a sound setup where you get much finer adjustment over the whole system. Now, what you heard today is just from my TV, and that's not going to sound great because this is really not set up for like a video key karaoke thing. It sounds okay, but it's never going to sound as good as if you had a dedicated speaker setup. And honestly, the kind of people who are going to buy a unit like this, I think, are also going to have some decent speakers, and they won't be relying on the speakers that are built into their TV. And now we're going to try the multimedia features of this. Now I tried putting a 64 gigabyte external drive in here and it didn't work because apparently the maximum it can read is up to 32 gig, which seems pretty low to me because what if you want to connect a big external hard drive? Anyway, what I did was I copied some movies over onto this 16 gig SD card and we'll test that instead. So if we go to menu, user, you can see external memory and we're going to video. Now the first thing I notice when I open this up is that some of my files aren't showing because I put some MOV files on here and they're not showing at all. But the MP4s and the MKVs, they are showing. So let's start by trying this MKV. And unfortunately it looks like it can't play it. Now let's try one of the MP4s. Let's try this Big Bucks Bunny. And that does not look right. I can tell you that when I watch it on the computer, it's not this weird blocky, like obviously something is going wrong. So it doesn't like this one very much. You can see it's completely messed up. Now let's try a video that I downloaded from YouTube because really the ones on YouTube, that's what I would personally use it for because let's say you don't want to buy the song pack. You can download karaoke versions of songs on YouTube and then just copy them onto your SD card or your USB drive. So let's try the Nelly Furtado one. Where is that? Here we go. Say it right by Nelly Furtado. So I downloaded this from YouTube and I should be able to sing along with this. In the day, in the night, sing it right. So you can see that it is working as expected. So that is quite a nice feature because you can download them for free from YouTube, stick them on a USB drive and then play them back. That's good if you want to play the latest songs and you don't want to buy the song pack. But honestly I am disappointed that it didn't really handle the other video formats very well. So if you're thinking about using this for watching movies or TV shows or stuff like that, I think you pretty much forget about it. It just doesn't do that very well. So that was just a quick look at the latest grand video key system from the WOW group. Honestly, I haven't done it justice because I don't have decent speakers, I don't have a decent voice, and I probably don't have quite enough experience with video key systems. Although, I have used a fair few. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.